If you're planning to use your camera in a hot and humid climate, then watch this video to learn how to prevent your lenses and your camera from fogging up. To make sure you don't miss any of my photography videos, click on the subscribe button and the little notification bell, that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you've ever traveled somewhere tropical, you may have noticed sometimes that when you take photos, sometimes the images might look a little bit hazy, um, not only after you, when you're looking at the photos on the computer, but also when you're looking through the viewfinder. And this is usually caused by condensation. Uh, it's something that happens when you travel from a cold environment into a warm and humid environment. You get particles of water, tiny particles of water, that just uh, basically land on anything that's cooler than the environment that you're in. Um, so essentially condensation. It's not uh, that much different to having a cold drink on the table and you get all those little droplets of water on the outside of the glass. So uh, the same thing can happen uh, with the lenses and with the actual sensor inside a camera. So preventing this sort of thing is pretty straightforward and it's easy, but it does require you to think ahead and plan ahead a little bit. Bottom line is you need to raise the temperature of the camera, at least to the temperature of the place that you're going to be shooting at or, or a little bit more even. Uh, there's a number of ways to do that. I'm going to show you my favorite ways uh, to prepare my camera to, uh, to shoot in humid conditions. So the easiest and safest way to do this is to take the camera bag and just place it outside. Uh, put, in the, put in your camera bag outside in the, in the same environment that you're going to be shooting in for maybe 20 to 30 minutes is probably the best way to do this. The camera slowly comes up to uh, temperature and uh, it re-acclimatizes back into, the into its own environment. If you undo the zippers on the bag but you still leave the bag closed, just undo the zippers so some of that air can come inside, that's going to speed up the process uh, a little bit as well. If you're staying in a hotel and there's a balcony, then uh, put the bag outside into the balcony and then before you bring it back into your hotel room where the air conditioning is on, then zip the bag so you don't get any of the cold air. And also bring the bag in just a few minutes before you're getting ready to head out because you, what you don't want is the camera, the camera to then uh, drop in temperature and re-acclimatize itself back into your hotel room. So that's tip number one. Now, if you're driving in a car, it's the same thing. Roll down the windows and turn off the air conditioning for at least 20 to 30 minutes before you get to your destination. Undo the zippers on the bag, and that should be plenty of time for the cameras and the lenses to acclimatize to its new environment. Now, a really important point that I wanna make here is this. If you've only given your camera 15 to 20 minutes to acclimatize to its new temperature, I would recommend that you don't change any of the lenses on any of the DSLR types. Uh, cameras where you can change lenses. The reason is that the outside of the camera is going to come up to temperature a lot quicker than the inside of the camera. The last thing you want to do, and I've had this happen myself, is changing the lenses, the inside of the camera is still cold and you get condensation on the sensor. Now that's going to be a much bigger problem for you because having a, a, a moisture on the sensor, it's also going to attract dirt that when the sensor eventually dries, uh, you're going to have a hard time getting that dirt out. That's a much bigger problem, so you want to avoid that altogether. So in order to be able to have your camera ready to change lenses, I would probably allow for at least an hour of shooting in that environment. So plan ahead again and put the lenses on that you think that you're going to be using. And if you don't know what you're in for, then uh, stick in the most versatile lens you have, something like a 24 to 70, 24 to 105. Um, or if you're going to go with uh, maybe like a 35 millimeter prime, something that's going to cover you at least for the time being until you, the, the camera comes up to the correct temperature. If you do find yourself in a situation where you do need to change lenses, then I suggest that you go into either a shopping mall, a restaurant or somewhere where there's air conditioning, go in there, change the lenses and then come back out again. Uh, because if you get moisture in the sensor, you are not going to be shooting any photographs for at least 30 to 60 minutes. So failing that, if uh, you find yourself in a situation where you weren't able to plan any of this out and you find yourself in a situation where you've got your camera, it's fogging up, you forgot to do any of those steps before uh, to prepare the camera, then what I would recommend is grab a towel, wrap the camera in a towel, hold it up against you, put it in the sun or even just a t-shirt or something to soak up the moisture and just uh, give the camera a good uh, 15 minutes and just keep checking on it again until it's ready to use. 
So those are my suggestions for dealing with foggy lenses. If you've got any tips or hacks that you use to deal with foggy lenses or condensation on your camera, please comment below with your suggestions. Also, if you wanna join me in a community where we talk about all things photography, why not follow me on all the usual platforms? You can find all the links in the comments section below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it, subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends. Also, it'd be great to get a comment from you if you found this information useful. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.